Welcome to a new video of NYNJPA weather. I hope you enjoyed the uh, new graphics and the better maps. Uh, right now we're in a pretty quiet and slow pattern. We have high pressure that's building into the forecast area as you can see on the map here this, this afternoon. And this high pressure system isn't exactly what I call a clean high pressure system. It has a weak disturbance that is moving through the forecast area. And when we look at the upper level maps, which we can see here, this disturbance that's moving through the east coast, uh, it's an impressive trough. However, this trough is moving off the east coast, and you can see the ridge that's over the plains is going to progress towards the east coast. And with that, much warmer conditions. As you can see, though, there is an impressive uh, upper-level disturbance on the water vapor map. And because of that disturbance, you have a few scattered showers over uh, parts of uh, the Mid-Atlantic. However, that's going to move off the coast. We're going to have high pressure take over. And then as we look at the 500 millibar map this weekend, uh, for the most part, a ridge is going to be in place. Another weak disturbance is going to try to cut under that ridge. But as you can see, when we go into the 700 millibar map, it really isn't all that impressive. Uh, there is a little bit of moisture producing some scattered uh, showers. But overall, it's going to be a weak uh, disturbance. And for the most part, uh, when we look at the 850 millibar temperatures, uh, we're going to be in a very warm pattern with temperatures running generally above normal to near normal. And uh, with the reason why we're having this above normal weather is that, for the most part, your polar air is forced up in Canada. And as we zoom in towards our forecast area for this weekend, that weak disturbance stays to, stays to the south, high pressure is generally in control, and we are in for a very nice spring-like pattern. Get ready, it's going to get pretty warm out there. Uh-huh. 